and welcome to another Spanish lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be learning all about la familia. So grab your cuadernos, grab your bolígrafos, and let's get right into it. So before we go too deep, I want to use some color codes for you to know what we're dealing with. So whenever you see a red line, we're looking at casados. Casados are marriages. And whenever you see a green line, we're going to be looking at hijos. Hijos are the children. Let's go. So once upon a time, there was you. And we're going to put you in the center of this family tree. There you are. So you married your esposo or your esposa. I don't know what your gender is, but whatever your gender is, you married your esposo or your esposa. You and your esposo or your esposa had your hijo and your hija. So your hijo is over here and your hija is over here. Now your hija, she went and got married and the person that she married becomes your yerno. Now, if your hijo also married, the person that he would have married would have become your yerna. But let's focus on your hija. So your hija and your yerno Lo siento, I don't know why I wrote an A over here when it should be an O. So let's rub that out completely and make it what it is supposed to be, okay? This should be yerno. I know I said yerno, but somehow I wrote yerna. Yerno, there we go. So your hija and your yerno produced for you hope you're following their family story, produced for you two beautiful nietos. And so you have a nieto and you have a nieta. But let's jump back up a little bit in terms of the rest of your family on the other side. So you are not an only child, right? So in the rest of your family, you have your hermanos. And among your hermanos, you have an hermana and you have an hermano. Now your hermano married your cuñada. Your cuñada. 
That's not written so clearly. Let's make it a little bit clearer. Married your cunada. And if your hermana had gotten married, she would have married your cunado. Now your hermano and your cunada produced for you two beautiful sobrinos. And so you have your sobrino and your sobrina. Let's go further up the family tree. And I'm going to just grab this and move it out of the way. Let's move it out of the way a bit so that we can get some space up here. And so grab this, move it up, grab this, move it up. There we go. So let's continue on your family tree. So you did not just drop from the sky, nor did your brother or your sister. You came from your padres. And we're going to focus on the male part of your padres. So you came from your padres. And so here we have your padre over here. There goes your padre. And your padre, we don't need this other extension over here, so let me get rid of it. And your padre married your madre. And your padre and your madre produced you and your siblings. We're going to fix this line in a bit, make it a little bit more authentic. So this is where it should be coming down to. So your padre and your madre produced you and your siblings. Now your padre is not an only child. Your padre has a sibling, a brother, I should say, and the brother of your padre is your tío. And your padre also had another sibling and he had a sister and the sister of your padre is your tia. I'm going to draw some lines in because there are some lines that we need to get going, right? So your padre, your tio and your tia all came from somewhere. We're going to see where they came from in a bit and we're going to move that top section up some more. So your Tia over here married, who is also going to be called your Tio. And so if your Tio, who is your father's brother married, he would marry someone who would also be called your Tia. And then your Tia and your Tio produced for you your primos. And I should really make this primo for your male cousin and then prima for your female cousin. Your primo and your prima. Let's go up some more. We're gonna grab this again. Lo siento. Let's use our lasso function and grab all of this. 
and to move it all up. There we go. So let's continue. Your padre came from somewhere, did he not? And your padre came from your abuelo. So we have your abuelo over here from whom your padre came. Your abuelo married your abuela. And let's get that line straightened. Let's get it straight. There we go. Let's see if we can erase this meticulously, like things nice and neat. All right, we can work with that. We can work with that. So your abuelo and your abuela produced your padre, who married your madre and produced you and your hermanos. But you're, we're gonna take it one step further. Your abuelo came from somewhere. Your abuelo came from your bisabuelo. And your bisabuela. And we're gonna put in the little X for them getting married. And then we have the green for the child that they produced. And in a nutshell, there you have the essence of your family. There are some relationships that are not reflected in the family tree. We know the family can become far and wide. I'm going to write those relationships to the side over here. And just know that each relationship has a masculine feminine counterpart. And so we have suegro, which also has suegra, and that is your father in law. or your mother-in-law. Then we have your padrastro. We have to write these two different. Or your madrastra, padrastro is your stepfather. Madrastra is your stepmother. We also have your hermanastro. And your hermanastra. Your hermanastro, stepmother. This should be stepmother stepmother. Hermanastro, if you're following the pattern up here, would then be your stepbrother and hermanastra, your step sister. Finally, we have or hijastro and or hijastra. Hijastro is your stepson and then Ihastra would be your stepdaughter. So I'm just going to fix up here. Since I have everything else written by themselves, I will just fix up here to reflect accordingly. So Suegra is your father-in-law. Suegra is your mother-in-law. And so ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, there you have it in a nutshell your family tree or a part of your family tree. 
because we know that our families can be much smaller than this or much larger than this. In a nutshell, your family tree. Adios.